Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Today I am here to share a video by Craspire. I will be sharing two project shares here in this video of two kits that I was able to pick up and review for the company Craspire. Um, the first kit that I picked up happens to be this kit right here, which is a keychain kit. These are the four silicone molds that you will receive when you purchase the kit. This first one right here happens to be this one here, which is a breast cancer ribbon. And the next one that I picked up is this mermaid keychain. And the next one in the set happens to be a football. And last but not least, we have a baseball. All of these kits that I'm sharing today and the products that I'm featuring here in this video will be listed in the description box. Make sure you definitely look at the links in the description box. And I also have a coupon code for you all to shop and save. That coupon code is MEMORY10 to save 10% off of your whole order. And with these keychains, um, silicone molds, I was able to make some beautiful pieces that I'm going to be showcasing in this video today. Along with this kit, when you pick up these um, molds here, it also comes along with the fit scenes that you need to be able to complete your keychain. So you have the actual keychain rings as well as the jump rings. So they come in a bag here and this is what that looks like. And then here's the jump ring. So it made it really easy to be able to put this together. Now you will need to provide your own resin uh, when you are putting together this keychain, which I already has some in my stash. So that made it pretty easy. In addition to using these items from Craftsbar, I also put out a few of my own as well. So some of the items that I pulled out to work with happen to be some of my glitters and paints. And so um, some of the sets that I use, I use this Martha Stewart glitter, which happens to be an iridescent glitter called Cotton Candy. I use this Pink Blast, which is a rose um, color um, craft um, mark paint. In addition to grabbing that, I also picked up or used for my stash um, this beautiful brownstone glitter. And I also use the Melt Chocolate paint. And last but not least, I use the white acrylic paint, uh, which is um, also by Apple Barrel. And I use the Crystal Fine Glitter by Martha Stewart. These are the items that I mixed in when I used my resin. And that's why I was able to get the hue. Last but not least, I did happen to pull out my Arteza, which happens to be my mica powders. So I pulled this kit out and I used a lot of my mica powders to play with my resin this go round. It has 60 colors inside of here and this was a lot of fun because it really added a lot of great color and detail to my different projects um, and just to kind of give you an idea of what one of them looks like so for example they, these are the bottles right here now this was something that i already had in my stash um, so i like to pull different things out to work with different elements to see what else i can do to enhance the beauty of whatever product i'm working with so my finished projects for this first project happens to be the first one here is this one here using this keychain here of this silicone mold. This is the keychain that I created and this is what that one turned out. So I really like the way this turned out. You can see how beautiful that glitter comes through and then I added the key ring there along with the tassel that was also in another kit that I'm going to be sharing with you in just a moment. And I really like the way that looks. This is the other side of it here. And this is made out of resin. And so it just hangs just like that. So this was pretty easy and simple. I like the fact that the molds were really easy um, and forgiving when you um, pretty much get ready to demold it from the silic um, from the using the resin. And then the other thing was I like the fact that I was able to take the different silicone molds and use my mica powders and color up 
the molds and I like the way the colors took on its own design in itself. So the next one that I have here is I use the mermaid one and this is what this keychain looks like. And this is the one I use most of the mica powders on and I love the way those colors look. Look how beautiful. So that's this, this one here. And on the other side I had it just white. So I laid a white color um, of resin and mixed up some of the glitter in there. So we have that one and it just hangs just like that here. So I really like this one. That was my first time adding mica powder to a silicone mold. And I have to say by using the craft spire silicone molds, it made it really easy to be able to um, definitely adhere everything that I needed it to look like. The next one I'm going to be sharing is the football. So for the football one, that's what this keychain right here looks like. And you can see the part right here is going to basically be, um, it's not going to take on that actual color. I actually had added the mica powder right here, but you can see how you can actually see through it. So when you basically demove this, that's the look that you will get. So I like the way that still turned out. Really, really nice. And you can also go back and add a name or football jersey number here, which would be awesome. And then we have the baseball. So for the baseball, this is what this one looks like. And you can see how I added the mic in there before I actually poured it. And that's the look that I got here. So I like the way that turned out. And those are all my keychains for the first kit using the silicone molds um, from Craspire. I'll be back to share my second project. So here is part two. So I have my other kit that I picked up from Craftspire to review for you guys. I was able to create some different items using the silicone molds. These silicone molds right here are to be able to make earrings. In this kit, you get so many items. This kit is a winner. You get this measuring cup right here that's made out of silicone that has the measurements, which is definitely needed for a project like this one. You'll also receive a set of tweezers and then some other items with inside of this bag here which allow you to be able to pick up your powders um, as well as some mixing tools in here so a lot of the different things that you would definitely need um, so you get a bag of those you also get the jump rings and then the backings for your earrings all of these things are in here so you'll get gold you'll get this um, color right here which is a pewter and then there's also the different earring hooks that you'll get right here in gold and silver. And then you also get the keychains. These are definitely needed in this project as well. This is what the keychains look like here, or the key rings. And then you also get the tassels. So a whole bag of tight um, tassels come inside of this kit you get so many look at all the different colors so I was able to also use that with the other kit that I have so that's one of the great things because you can kind of mix and match you get a set of different glitters that you can put inside of your resin and I also chose to pull out a few of my own items as well but before I get into that let me share with you some of the other silicone molds that you did re um, that you did get a part of this kit so each kit came with two of the same shapes so there was a set of the rectangles um, and it already has the mold is already set for it I already um, pretty much put the holes in for your earrings so this is one set of them right here and it has a lot in this kit as I mentioned you also get the squares which is phenomenal and I showed this in the unboxing video if you guys missed that so you'll get those and then you'll also get two other shapes, which happens to be this teardrop shape here and this oval shape and a circle shape. So it's actually three more. So I'll show you what those look like. So here's the circle shape right here and here is the teardrop shape and here is the oval shape so those are some of the shapes and you get two sets of each one 
and so these were really awesome to work with as I mentioned and it made it really easy to create a project this is pretty much what I created I'm going to take time and share with you the different pieces that I use and these are some of the other items that I pull of course you have to have your own resin but I did use some of these um, beautiful colored flowers here so I used some of this in my project that I had in my own stash also use some of these flowers right here which are really really pretty and I just keep mine in these bags and I use some of these beautiful metallic alphabets okay so now on for my finished projects I want to go ahead and share with you what I created so this is what I made here so for the first one here this is what this one looks like and what I did is I took some of the flowers and I laid them inside the resin. This would be for the rectangle one. And this is what it, oh, look how gorgeous. This is what the results of using the flowers in the resin for that silicone mold. Really, really pretty. And so I'm really happy with how that turned out. This is how the flowers look uh, when you use a single flower. And when I use the alphabets, I actually um, made some earrings. Let me show you what those look like. This is what the earrings look like here. Really, really pretty. And I just didn't even try to, um, I just kind of laid them in there to give a unique look instead of trying to spell out a word. But you can do that as well if you choose to go that route. But I kind of wanted the alphabets to kind of take on their own placement. That was the beauty of playing with the resin. But you can manipulate it any way you want. And then using that teardrop shape, I made some other earrings. And this is what I did with this one here. really pretty and on the other side this is what the other side looks like I laid a brown using some paint and some brown glitter which was that brown stone that was already in my stash and then I also used some gold that was in there as well really really pretty and then I left some of these to where you can use them to pretty much make key rings if you choose to do that and then I have these pieces here that are in, in a square shape. You know, I did some in rectangle and just to show you what those look like together. This is side by side to show you. These are the rectangle ones here and these are the square ones. Last but not least, I also made some teardrop alphas. So I got started by dusting some of the mica powders inside of my earring silicone molds and this is what the beginning process looked like. So I dusted some of that mica powder using some of the purple mica powder inside of the circle earring mold here and what I did is I laid my resin inside of there and it took on its own color which I love the process because I like how the resin basically takes on whatever color you choose to put in your silicone mold. So that's what that looks like. Now to showcase what a circle earring will look like and when you use the circle molds, they will look like this. Even though this one right here is a different color because I used a pink one for this one here. Really, really pretty. This is what that one looks like here. And this is the other side of it. You can see how shiny that side is there. And I really like that. So pretty. So this one would be purple when I will go ahead and pour the resin in and this one here I chose to do a pink really really nice so that was that one and then for my oval shape mold I did kind of the same similar process I used a green mica you can kind of see some of what's left over on top of the um, corners or around the edges of this silicone mold here when I did this one this is the results that I got from using this mold here are the oval ones right here and these right here I left pretty much translucent so you can still kind of see right through it and I wanted a little green and I love the way the size look on this earring here so yes that's what it looks like and this is what it looks like on the other side so you can see the difference there 
So this side is more shiny and this side is more matte. And so when you flip it over, they're pretty much the same again. So that's what that one looks like. And then for another earrings that I did in the oval, I used this one here, which I left white in the center. And on the other side, this one's actually this beautiful royal blue color. And it's the same earrings. So you can see what that looks like there. And when you go to flip them over, that's what they look like. So that pretty much concludes what I did using the silicone jewelry molds from Craftspire. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun playing with my resin and creating these beautiful pieces using the keychain silicone molds as well as the jewelry um, molds from Craftspire. All the information will be listed in the description box. I want to thank you on today for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure to also comment on this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. And also check out my Instagram page which happens to be Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessing as always. And don't forget to check out the description box for that coupon code to save 10% off your order using Memory 10. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.